This is the 84th day in the Hamas-Israel war, and I'm Yair Pinto reporting to you from the Gaza Strip. I want to take you behind the scenes of the work in the Gaza Strip. Every day, IDF soldiers fight Hamas terrorists. They find, expose, and take weapons from terror complexes. It is not only means of combat, but also means of communications, maps, computers, anti-tank rockets, terrorist funds, and other special means. As soon as soldiers find a weapon that requires research, they transfer it to a special unit that examines and studies the weapons to know how to deal with it. A weapon can tell you a lot. It can also provide information, strategic information to the State of Israel, such as where it came from and who Hamas is cooperating with. In many Hamas headquarters, we the soldiers also find suitcases full of funds that were used for terrorism. For example, last week IDF soldiers found 4.2 million Israeli shekels in cash in a suitcase at the home of a terrorist operative. And since the beginning of this war, the IDF found more than 12 million Israeli shekels. And this amount was seized and taken to Israel. Just imagine, Gaza and the Gazan population are so poor and need help, food, water, clothing. But yet, Hamas finds the way to provide its militants with money. With these funds and the neglection of the local population, Hamas has created a situation where the most profitable thing in the Gaza Strip is to be a terrorist. This is the best salary to recruit as many terrorist fighters as possible. That's sick, right? Everywhere they talk about the poor Gazans, but here we see the amount of money that Hamas has invested in establishing a terrorist enterprise, all of which aims to destroy Jewish lives and the state of Israel. I want to help the world understand exactly who and what we are facing here in Israel. To illustrate how Hamas's money actually goes to terrorism, to prove the cynical use it makes of seemingly innocent means. As an example, last week, an M16 rifle was found inside a school. This rifle is found inside a school in Gaza, used as a game for children. An electric mechanism was installed inside it with a button instead of the trigger so that it fires a laser. This is how you educate the people in the Gaza Strip. That's crazy how Hamas invests in this instead of taking care of the residents and planning a better future for the children. The fighters of the 7th Brigade combat team have been operating in the Khan Yunus area for the past two weeks. The fighters located weapons, stockpiles, eliminated many terrorists in encounters and ambushes and directed aircrafts that conducted targeted attacks from the air. When the forces arrived at the Qutiba Mosque in Khan Yunus, which is belonging to the Hamas terror organization, the fighters identified terror activity from a wide underground infrastructure inside the mosque. In one of the rooms, an explosive device was fired at the troops, and the fighters returned fire while rescuing the wounded soldiers of the battalion and eliminated the terrorists with air support. Additional terrorists who tried to escape from the mosque were also neutralized by Israeli drones and the Israeli Air Force. In addition, during raids on terror infrastructure, the fighters located and confiscated weapons and ammunition. You wouldn't believe it, but the IDF uncovered inside a mosque textbooks for children. These are meant for coloring and the content in them is so disturbing. The textbooks for the children inside Gaza explain how to use weapons and how to kill Jews. In the area of Darj Tufa, 
fighters from the Bislach Brigade destroyed a terrorist infrastructure inside the building from which RPG missiles were launched shortly before at the IDF fighters and their vehicles. After the IDF vehicle was hit, the fighters of the Naha Brigade directed an Air Force fighter jet to attack the building where the terrorists were located. At the same time, the fighters of the 401 combat team are walking and have eliminated terrorists from the land and the air in the last two days. During an operation, Hamas terrorists shot at our forces while dressed as women. The forces neutralized the terrorists and after searching the house from which the shooting emerged, the fighters located many weapons, maps and important intelligence information. And now to Israel's front in the West Bank area of Judea and Samaria. A unique operation, one of its kind, was launched in this area. A cyber unit called 433 launched a joint investigation together with the IDF against terrorists living inside Judea and Samaria on suspicion that they are involved in financing the Hamas terror organization in the Gaza Strip. This is an operation to locate digital funds and cash as part of their activity as financial service providers. Throughout the night, IDF forces operated in a targeted and joint operational activity under the direction of the Shin Bet and other intelligence branches throughout Judea and Samaria, arresting 21 wanted persons in central areas. Those are suspected of involvement in financing the terror organization Hamas. At this time, the wanted persons are brought in for questioning inside Israel. During the operation, terrorist funds were located and tens of millions of shekels, safes, documents, recording systems and telephones were confiscated. In other locations, an IDF aircraft attacked an armored terrorist squad in the city of Jenin that fired at our forces and endangered them. Also, in several locations throughout Judea and Samaria, the forces responded by shooting at terrorists who threw explosives, Molotov cocktails, stones, and shot at the IDF troops. In northern Israel, on the front against Hezbollah, IDF forces, including Air Force fighter jets, tanks, and artillery fire, have been attacking terror infrastructure used by Hezbollah terrorists in the area of the village of Ita al Shayeb and Rimal, together with other communities inside Lebanon. In these areas, many launches are carried out towards the territory of the State of Israel, and in addition, Fighter jets of the Air Force recently attacked a military compound of the Hezbollah terrorist organization deep inside Syria in response to launches that were carried out towards the territory of the State of Israel earlier today. I want to say a prayer so that I won't need to mention the names of my dead fellow soldiers in my daily reports. I want to say a prayer for the peace of Jerusalem the peace of Israel, and to ask all of you to continue and spreading the truth of what is happening in Israel, in the Middle East. The world needs to know the true face of Hamas, of this ISIS ideology that seeks to spread to the rest of the world. So please join me in prayer for the IDF, for Israel, and most of all, for the peace of Jerusalem that only our God can bring to this land. Thank you.